Okay, step two in making your read aloud EPUB is preparing your text frames. So in InDesign, I've got the document that we started off with step one, where we have separated the live text from the base artwork. Um, and the story starts down here on page four. So I'm going to actually uh, select these frames. Um, this is one way of working. You can select the frames in the order that they are uh, read out in the reading order. And that indicates to circular flow the order that the text should be added to the panel. So let me just uh, show you how that's done in circular flow under that read aloud tools. We open up the read aloud tools panel here. I'm actually going to click this first button and that will add. Uh, oh, first of all, I get asked a question. So is the audio for this read aloud book in one track for the entire book or is it in separated into different tracks for different pages or different spreads, etc. In this case, yes, I'm going to use one audio for the entire document, and I suggest that's the way that you work. There's no, uh, you know, detriment to, to doing that, and it actually makes it easier to manage. But we can support uh, separated audio if that's what you've started off with. So I'm going to choose this audio track. It's in the M4A. Um, also, MP3 is fine as a, an audio format to use. So it's just confirming it's going to use the live text objects uh, on page four. So that's what I've selected, so that's correct. So you can see that it's going to add a new layer. And this is how Circular Flow works. It adds the layers that it needs. Um, and that specially named layer will be used uh, as we create the, the read aloud EPUB. Um, and all the text has been split out into separate rows of this panel. Um, it's really just an InDesign table that is on this specially named layer. So each word is separated out. We've got the path to the audio. By the way, InDesign doesn't support M4A, so that's why we keep a path to the audio rather than add it as a link. Um, and here you could drop in a different swatch if you wanted to. I'm not gonna do that today, but um, you could have different colors for different pages. And then these are all blank. We're gonna do some auto timestamping uh, later on in another step where we get the actual pace of the audio. Okay, so that was starting off with um, just separating and selecting individual text frames but there's quite a lot of pages in this book we're going to do 35 pages now so this, we can speed that up if I click the button without anything selected um, and just go to the, the next page I'm on page five now it says do I want to use the select and prepare sorry the two live text frames on this page otherwise I can cancel and just by holding down the Apple key that's what I'll do actually. I'll hold down the Apple key when I click this button. So I'm holding down the Apple key. Hard for you to see that, but I am doing. Um, and now when I click that, um, it's going to look at all the text and start to prepare all the text for every page in one go. It's just confirming it's starting on page five. It's gonna do all the text throughout the document. So let's get it started. So how does it work out the reading order? when you haven't selected individual text frames. Well, as you can see here, it's just it's just working its way from top to bottom on the page. So on a page like this, and on previous pages, that's fine. Um, it's going to be correct. So it's just as it's uh, working through, adding individual pages to individual rows. Okay, I sped up the video a little bit there so we could see how the panels were placed on the page. Uh, actually, these last two pages, they're not going to be part of the read aloud. The read aloud finishes on this uh, word here, such a trendsetter, this guy. So just by removing those panels, that's fine. This will still appear as live text. It just won't be uh, read aloud live text. Okay. So just looking through the document that's been prepared, uh, all of the panels uh, have been added. Uh, where there's more text and then fits on one row, um, then we will automatically split out into two columns. There's one somewhere, just look at, oh yeah, there. So there's a, a rather a large speech happening on this page. Whoops. Um, so uh, we can see that there's two panels and it will do that automatically. So all of that text is, is still fitted in these 41 words in this panel. Okay, so that's step two done. On to step three. <laughs> 